Hi, my name is Dr. Omrita Sen and I am in the Department of English and I am an assistant professor of Medieval and Renaissance Studies. So I am originally from India. Um, I am an Indian. I grew up in Calcutta and most people would be familiar with it sort of because this is the city where Mother Teresa um, lived and worked. A hugely populated city. At least 12 to 21 million people there. So I've grown up in this humongous busy populated city and then I came to the US to do my PhD. It was a huge transition going from somewhere that is super hot and in the tropics and extremely populous to going to East Lansing which is way up in the north and there's snow and it's a small little college town and I made some very good friends there. I was staying at a student apartment all by myself. There is this cute little single bedroom apartment and there are no lights. There are no lights whatsoever and I am thoroughly puzzled and bewildered um, because in India we all have you know tube lights and lamps and, and you know all of that and fans as well all hanging from the ceiling right so we have ceiling lights and the very fact that you know you could get lamps that you know you would have to assemble and sort of walk up that just freaked me out I'd never done anything like that in my life and I was like what do you mean you're handing me these pieces that I have to assemble and only then will there be light it was just absolutely crazy and maddening simple things like going and getting your groceries so I never really lived abroad before this time, right? And trying to teach me things like, you know, when you put stuff in the washing machine, make sure that there's nothing in your pockets. Because in India, um, we didn't have a washing machine at home, right? I, but then I had to go to the grocery store. And one of the things that struck me was that, you know, everything was in packages. Whereas in India, you would go to the marketplace, you would choose your chicken that was still squawking. Right? And you know, you, you would choose that, figure out that you know it, it was nice and healthy and you know alive and kicking and then someone would go and you know would chop it up and then clean it up and dice it up and you would tell them exactly how you wanted it and they would hand it to you. It was the same thing with fish, right? You went to the you you went to the bazaar and there was all this fish, you know, just swimming around and, and, and it was because everything was in packages. I wasn't too sure exactly what you were supposed to do with things. I never cooked before. I had a crash course in cooking by my mother to make sure that you know I would, I would survive the basic essentials. So this little package and I went up to her and asked her, do you know what I'm supposed to do with this? I mean, am I supposed to put it into a microwave? Am I supposed to cook it on the stove? I mean, is this raw meat? Is this pre-cooked meat. I don't quite follow the labels and she explained it to me but that is one of the things that I remember about my first few weeks in the US is the complete kindness of utter stranger and it is that kindness of strangers that I think that I'm the most thankful for. I went on to have really good friends right my closest friends I can't imagine the world without them but you expect your friends to be good and kind to you. Expect the people that you're going to classes with to be nice to you. But it's the strangers, you see, the ones that, you know, you run across in the streets or in the grocery store or even on, on campus who help you out. And that, I think, is one of the things that I remember the most about this whole experience.